Good morning and happy Vlogmas Day 9. So I'm gonna give you the first taste test of the vanilla matcha with um, almond milk and it is sweetened almond milk. So see how it tastes. I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> wow, that's really good. Mm. So we are back from our little stroll outside and even I went on a walk and we got some groceries delivered to us with Instacart, which if you don't know, Instacart is like, this cool app where you can get somebody else to shop for you and then you can have your groceries delivered. So it just saves time and it's really nice. So we got some whole green beans. We wanted to switch up the broccoli. We got some large shrimp. We got a whole hefty lot of chicken thighs. We got some ground turkey or chicken. This might be chicken. I think it's chicken. And we got this little medley of broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. That's one bag. Then we got some melatose, and by we, I mean it's for me, because I'm the only one that will be eating that. And we needed some more detergent. And some almond milk for my matcha lattes in the morning that you saw me make. And then we're going to move over here I bought some pure peppermint tea. We have here some teriyaki sauce. Riviera, which is another amazing, amazing like vegan uh, yogurt brand. I love it. This one is, um, where's the flavor? It's like a lemon flavor. It is so good and I love like fresh yogurt. So very fruity and fresh. We have some lovely green bananas, which will take a little bit to get to the right color. Now, I'm gonna put you guys on the best, the best vegan feta that I've ever come across. And this is from Violife. It is the best. It's like feta style. I'm Greek. I love feta. I can't eat feta because dairy does not do well with my eczema, but this cheese is so good. I bought the Melba Toast so I can do um, block feta, like crumble, feta crumble with jam. I am so excited. I did this with some of my um, best friends a while ago. We did like a charcuterie board and we did fig jam. And oh my gosh, if you can come across fig jam, fig jam with this feta particularly, you will not stop eating that. That will be like a meal because you just won't be able to stop. So I am so excited. I'll show you guys how I make that because so good and I'm so excited. Obviously you need, needed to get some corn flakes, so there's that. Free range eggs, which fun fact, here in British Columbia, these eggs are so orange, like the yolk is so orange compared to like back home where it's very, very yellow. Let me know down in the comments, what color is the yolk of your eggs in your country? I'm so curious, like let me know like what country you're from or state or province or like city and tell me what color yolk your egg is because this one is so orange and it looks so beautiful, but back home in Toronto, it is usually pretty, pretty yellow color. So I'm curious, let me know. That is it for the haul. Then you will see me making my Melba toast with feta crumble and jam. And this is the Bon Maman jam. So I'm very excited. My friend says great things about this. So I hope you enjoyed. It's so good. So after seeing clouds all over TikTok, I finally convinced Yaniv to watch it with me. And um, basically all the TikToks are always people watching it like before and then apparently they're a complete mess after. And I will warn you guys, I am a crier. I cry at like the drop of a hat. So this should be interesting. This should be fun. The next clip will probably be me bawling and I'll give you a timestamp at when the bawling starts. So yeah, we're ready to enjoy. Let's see if we can crack you Eve too. Maybe not. He's not a crier. Okay, so Yaniv and I made it to 30 minutes into this movie and he tapped out. However, I am a sucker for 
just really, really sappy stories. This is based on a true story and directed by Justin Baldoni, which if you don't know, I'll like insert a picture here, but he was one of the love interests from Jane the Virgin. I just know how passionate he is about this movie and like movies that he creates. I think he created um, five feet apart also, and I really did love that movie. I rewatched a few of like the TikTok reactions and you really need to get into this movie before you start crying. So, um, I'm gonna give it like more time because I am ready. The tears are ready. Let me know in the comments if you watch this or if you're gonna watch this because I want to see you take on this challenge too. Can you do it? I don't think I can, but we'll keep watching. Okay, update. I am about an hour and a half in, which means I have half an hour left and still no tears. Maybe like a few really heartfelt moments where I like could have started to well up, but then they always cut them off kind of abruptly. So I feel like I could never really get into being like really sad and crying. So I'm gonna have to wait. I feel like there's still one part that I've like seen people talk about on TikTok that could like really get me. And I'm hoping that it just throws me over the edge. But so far it's been like, well, well, well. And then like, like it wells me up. And then I'm like, okay, did you not want me to cry there? Did you not want me to feel anything? <sighs> An hour and a half and still no tears. We shall see. Okay, so for a final review on the movie, did it make me cry? Yes. Did it pull on my heartstrings? Yes. Is it even sadder that it was based on a true story? I'm gonna like cry again. Yes. Did all those clips at the end of the actual Zach and Sammy destroy me? Yes. Was it a good movie overall? Yes. It was a very slow ride. It was a very long movie, but worth it. So if you're into crying and you want a little tear jerker, I would recommend this movie and that is it for tonight. I am ready to go take a shower and rest. I'm so hot from crying and all like the feelings and emotions like burning up inside me. So I'm gonna go take a deep breath, maybe drink a tea. Um, after watching this movie, if you made it this far in my video, maybe write something you're thankful for down below. I feel like this movie really shows you to not take life for granted. If you enjoyed my reaction, thumbs up. It was worth the tears and um, that is it for today. So wherever you are in the world, I want to wish you a great day and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 10. <laughs> what happened? Okay. Is that sad?